welcome friends, I'm Meredith and today we are going to take a whole bunch of subscription box makeup and create a makeup look themed around a lipstick that I got in my recent Ipsy bag. So let's go ahead and get started. So to save time on this video, because you guys have seen me do this a number of times, I started out with the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This one is in the shade Fair, which I do believe is the lightest shade that they make. And I have to say, I feel like this is an unsung hero of the beauty world. I really like how smooth my skin looks when I use this. I feel like it doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles too much, um, which I have to say does happen a lot of times um, in my under eye area and maybe even a few forehead wrinkles with a lot of other products, whether they claim to be heavy foundation or full coverage, or if they're even sometimes a tinted moisturizer, I feel like a lot of them do settle, especially on me. Do you guys have the same issue? So I did use this all over the face. I think it gives pretty darn good coverage to any redness and breakouts. Like I have a breakout right here, which you probably really can't see too much. It is there. I feel like the coverage is good without feeling heavy, cakey, or creasy. So, and I did not use a primer, I will say that. So I think this one is really good. Um, I feel like Wander Beauty, everyone's sort of ho-hum about it, but I have to say, while their eyeshadows might not be amazing, I feel like they have a lot of other products that are really good. So, happy to have that. Okay, so next up, this one I have not put on yet, but this is the Aesthetica. As you can see, it's already starting to wear away. This is the Sunset Bronzer. I did get this from BoxyCharm. This came in an Ipsy Plus. This came in the $25 BoxyCharm box. And this is my favorite bronzer. So we're gonna go ahead and apply it just like I normally do. And don't mind the fact that I need to wash this brush. But this is the Complex Culture uh, Bronzer Face Brush that I got also in an Ipsy. Love it, favorite brush. So we're just gonna use some of my all-time favorite products. So I really kind of try to angle it, but then I sweep up over here. And I do do a little bit across and then almost up onto the cheek. How do you guys apply your bronzer? Do you use bronzer? I'm curious. And then I do do a little bit up here. And hold on, let me get the hair out of the way. A little bit here. And then just to make sure that I don't have like any obvious sort of line, I do take it across the very top of the forehead a little bit and then if there's anything left on my brush then I go down here along my jawline to sort of define that and then I sweep down the neck just a little bit so I feel like it just gives that definition there that I'm definitely wanting and then I just make sure I blend it up just a smidge because I do not want to look like I cut across my face with a bronzer brush so love that love this I still have tons of it left and pretty much every time you have seen me in a video, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing this bronzer. Um, so really happy to have that. Okay, so the next up, this I think I got in an Ipsy so, so long ago. And this is the Jolie Cosmetics Highlighter Stick. And it does not say what the shade is actually. So this I don't feel like is like a holy grail that I've got in a subscription box, but I'm just trying to use it up. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of that I don't go too heavy handed with my highlighter. I'm not trying to be seen from space or anything. But honestly, I usually just do it right at the tops of my cheeks. Sometimes I'll do it on the Cupid's bow if I'm feeling very fancy, which since we're featuring a lipstick today, I figured why not? I'll do a little bit there. But honestly, I don't usually do highlighter any other places on my face. Now this didn't technically come in a subscription box, but it did come and I did an unbagging. This came in Sephora's new kits that are $10. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush and it's called Call My Blush. So we're gonna use this one. And I'm just gonna grab, let's see, do I have a blush brush? Here we go, we'll use this guy. All right, so this also came in a subscription box. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush. I do like it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this. 
And one thing, I was reading an article about how blush contouring is coming back in. So you remember in the 80s when like they'd have that really sharp blush and there was a lot of it? And um, a lot of times it was more concentrated up on the top of the cheekbone. Supposedly that's coming back. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. So I'm gonna blend, you know, and still putting it on the apples of my cheeks, but I'm not concentrating it here. I'm really concentrating it more up this way. And I have to say, I really do like that version of it. What do you guys think? So I really try to blend it between where my bronzer stops and my blush starts. And I don't know about you, but I'm always trying to elongate the face. So I actually like a blush contour. So again, sort of focusing it a little bit more up here. And my pasty self can certainly handle a little more, <laughs> a little more blush. Okay, so I always feel like when I put my blush on, especially in the bathroom mirror, I feel like I look like I have so much on and then I come and I film. And when I'm editing the video or watching the video back to make sure it looks okay, I feel like, I'm like, man, I should have put on more blush. <laughs> Do you guys feel like that when you actually get out in real lighting that it looks different? You can do a little bit up here if you want. Okay, next out of the bag, we are going to do the Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Dutch. This came in a BoxyCharm, and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. So it has a small spoolie wand. I definitely recommend if you get this that you wipe off some of the extras uh, in back into the tube because it is pretty potent stuff. Um, and I don't use a brow pencil. I usually just use a brow gel. So if you are someone who's watching who's newer, you may not know that. I'm gonna look in the mirror over here because I gotta be able to see what I am doing. This is the lighted mirror that came in my most recent FabFitFun, I think it was the winter box. And so I'm testing it out in a video this time. All right, so I usually start over here and I very, very lightly brush it in over here because my brows, as you can see, they're not too thin right here. They're, they're pretty decently thick. Where it really starts to get sparse is right about two thirds of the way across. So this is where I'm really focusing to actually fill in my eyebrows. So I do comb them up just a little bit as I'm filling them in. And then as I get to the outer edge, what I start to do is press a little bit harder because I'm actually wanting the brow gel to get onto my skin underneath. But because it's a brush tip, it's giving those nice brush-like strokes. And I feel like that looks just a little bit more natural. So do you see how it almost doesn't look like there's brow gel on my skin? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So I'm just gonna do the same thing over here and my eyebrows are not 100% even. Most people's are not. Think of them as sisters, not twins. And I'm just gonna fill them in. This side is a little bit thicker over here naturally, so I don't have to push as hard on this side. There we go. There, all right. So definitely like this one a lot. Highly recommend. Um, I'll link everything I can find down below for you guys, um, just in case you are interested. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull back into the bronzer for a minute, and we're gonna actually use this as my crease shade for uh, my eyeshadow look. So this is a great way if you want to darken the um, crease area a little bit, but you maybe don't wanna pull out a whole huge eyeshadow palette, or you're just gonna use like a stick eyeshadow um, to do across your lid for a little bit of shimmer and you don't want to pull out a palette, this is a great way to do it. So this one is the SL Miss Glam hmm, Precise Eye Brush, the E25. So I've gotten a ton of these in Ipsy boxes over the years and I'm just going to go ahead and take that. It's just a fluffy blending brush, let's be honest. And I'm just going to darken up the crease just a smidge because I want to keep it nice and easy and simple. And then you just want to make sure you're going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and maybe even come across the lid just a little bit and if you want to get a little more dramatic you can go in the crease fill it in 
and then you can either pull out a smidge which I often do sorry I'm not looking at the viewfinder as I'm doing this so you can pull out a little bit and you can also go up and down and that's going to kind of pull the eye out a little bit higher up and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side so windshield wiper Tap off the excess if your bronzer is one that tends to dust up a lot of powder. So back and forth over here, a little on the lid, a little going out. Another tap. And then up and down a bit to sort of draw that out and open the eye up and lift a little bit. Done, done. If you're at all worried, you can do a little gentle swipe to make sure that you're not, you don't have anything that's down here. And then to finish off the eye look, we're going to use two things. Both came in subscription boxes. This one I think I got in an Ipsy bag, and I think this came in an Ipsy Plus. So the first one we're going to use is the Nomad Cosmetics uh, Eyeshadow Single in Apertifo. And it is just this really, really pretty, sort of shimmery, dusty, let's say like a mauve, but with a little bit of rosiness to it as well. So I'm actually just going to take something that didn't come in a subscription box. I'm just going to take my ring finger because that is your weakest finger and we're trying to be gentle on the eye area. And I'm just going to sweep this across the lid. So because this is sort of more of a mauve pink tone look, this would be great if you are feeling like you want to do a special look for Valentine's Day or just a little bit more of a soft romantic look. This is a good one. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera. So if you wanted to get a more foiled and metallic look with this, you could absolutely use a brush and then spray it with just a little bit of a setting spray before you apply it to the eye. And that works really well if you want to really amp up the uh, shimmer effect. I'm not going for super over the top, so I just patted that across the lid. And then to finish off the eye look, we're going to take the Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in the shade Aurora. So that is what this looks like. So it has a nice fine point and I'm going to use my trusty mirror again and I'm just going to take that right at the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to take a smidgen of it right here and then just gently tap it a little bit because I don't want it to be obvious that I went underneath the eye and then I'm just going to take it and blend it just a little bit onto the lid. Same thing on this corner. Get the inner corner, go under just a smidge, and then blend it. And there we go. So it just opens up and brightens the inner corner of the eye a little bit. And then if you want, you can also take it and sweep it across the brow bone without being too heavy handed on that. And that's also just going to brighten up the eye area. So this one's really subtle. I wouldn't use it as like an all over eyeshadow because I feel like it's just not quite enough. It doesn't pack enough of a punch. But for the inner corner, I think it's great if you're not wanting that bright blinding. Oh yeah, I highlighted my inner corner sort of look. So nice and soft and subtle. Another product that I've gotten, this was in an Ipsy bag. This is the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen. And this one is in the shade Black Caviar. So I feel like this one's not that super black. Uh black eyeliner <laughs> for lack of better better words there um it is in need of a sharpening let's be honest but i really like these i feel like these pencils or at least this one specifically glides on so nicely and easily and i'm able to get a good line without needing to use like a gel liner or um like a felt tip eyeliner so i'm not gonna pull too hard on my eye but i'm just gonna go along the edges and hopefully, I'm gonna do it in this mirror. Sorry guys. I'm just gonna go right along my lash line. Not to give myself a dramatic wing today because again, we're doing a more soft romantic look. Just enough that it looks like my eyelashes might be a little thicker from far away when you're looking at it. but not making it obvious that I put on a ton of eyeliner. And instead of trying to draw one full long line, go in short little strokes, it makes it so much easier. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera so you don't have to watch me do two. All right, so I've got my liner nice and soft and subtle, and then two products I'm going to use that did not come in a subscription box because I have simply not found their equal are the Lancome uh, Booster XL. I will link this one below. It's the CILS Booster. It's a mascara base. It looks like this. So I just do one quick coating on each side of this one. As you can see, it does make your eyelashes just a little bit white and I only do it on the top. That's all that you need. Works great. I really do think it helps thicken up the lashes. And then I go in with the Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. I have had a number of tubes of these. I absolutely love it. I think it's the best mascara I think I've ever used. Um, and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on. And I think it curls my lashes enough to the point that I don't need to use an eyelash curler at all. So I usually do two coats of this. If you don't like your lashes to be like va va boom, you just want them to darken up a little bit, you could probably get away with one coat and that would be just fine. I however find I, <laughs> I like a lot of mascara. So I would love to know from you guys, do any of you guys have a product that you've received in a subscription box that became your like holy grail, you can't live without it, you keep repurchasing it product? That I would love to hear. Or you know what, I wonder if I did get this in a, I'm trying to remember how I got it the first time. I might have gotten this in a Sephora box actually back when Sephora still had Sephora Play. I'm trying to remember, it's been so long now. But it's definitely been my favorite mascara for more than a year at this point. All right, let's close this up. And now for the very last item, <laughs> it is the Stila uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Patina. So this is the color that I got in my recent bag, and I was wearing a green eye look when I got this, and how put it on and while I absolutely loved the lip color, it didn't really go with the eye look or it's not a color I would have picked to go with the eye look. So I wanted to create a video to go with this one and I also put on my shirt because I figured I think it would look really good with the roses in this one and sort of go with that romantic theme. Yes, I do often pick my shirts to go with my makeup looks, just in case you were wondering. So this is what the applicator looks like, just a very flat doe foot. And I will say from trying it on in the video the other day, it lasts very well. there we go and that is our completed look so what do you guys think I have been loving this patina shade I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I do think it goes very well with that eyeshadow so definitely let me know what you guys think let me know all of your holy grail products that you've gotten in a subscription box down below and until next time guys don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell and you know I'll be talking to you soon bye guys